And we're unanimous. 3A14. Finance Organization and Personnel Committee Report relative to the Homeland Security Grant Acceptance for a Specialized Mission Vehicle. On a vote of 5-0, to zero, the Finance Organization and Personnel Committee recommends the City Manager be authorized to do all things necessary to accept a grant of $285,933 from the FY 2010 Homeland Security Grant Program for the King Police Department to obtain a Linco Bearcat Special Mission Public Safety Vehicle. Signed, Cynthia C. Georgina. Council Georgina. Thank you, Your Honor. I move the intent of the committee report. Second. The motion has been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? <coughs> Councilor Clark. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm afraid that I'm going to have to vote against this. <coughs> um, we, and I'm going to use a federal we, not a local we, um, have, been, have been cutting things like fuel assistance for elderly people. Uh, we've been slashing our uh, education funds. And we have the nerve to be passing out $286,000 armored vehicles. I just think that that is unconscionable. And, you know, um, someone has to stand up and say no to this culture of war. It's, it's, it's this, this thing has just gone beyond, gone beyond the pale. And I think that um, my reputation and support of uh, law enforcement and public safety is strong enough to take the hit, so it might as well be me. Uh, so, <laughs> um, and this is not to say that, uh, you know, our public officials here are, are, aren't capable of, 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 of doing the right thing, etc. like that. I mean, I, I, I understand all, all, of the, all of the arguments on both sides of this, but it's, um, it's just something that I just can't, um, I just can't consciously uh, uh, vote for it. And I, and I, uh, Apologize to people who disagree with me, but that's just the way it is. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Councilor Stout. I would agree on just about everything that the pre uh, that Councilor Clark said, <laughs> um, but I don't think this is the place <coughs> to make the stand. <coughs> there are vehicles across the state on the other side, according to what the chief tells me, and I, I want to say the number six or seven. But the point is that these are not brand new technology. They, they've existed for a long time. And this part of the state doesn't have that technology. And while we should be devoting more money to the, the uh, causes before mentioned, um, without question, and yes, we are a, a very warlike uh, culture right now, and that that's an unbudgeted warlike <coughs> culture, which is why we're in such desperate straits. I agree with all of that. I just don't think that this, in this case, where the safety of, of not only the residents of Keene, but we're, we're voting really uh, uh, for the safety of the, the residents of the Monadnock region here tonight, I don't think this is the place to make that stand. Thank you. Council Lesnar. I'm sorry to say, uh, legislator, that this is not a public hearing. That was the uh, last week, and I cannot accept any input from the public this evening. Council Venezia. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Um, I've been struggling with this, too. Uh, when it was first presented, uh, I think the thing that, that finally um, made me uh, accept it is that we have had some extreme <coughs> weather uh, in the last six years, um, going back to 05 with the, the floods and uh, coming forth to um, Irene. Uh, there was another one, uh, I've forgotten what its name was, that went up uh, north. And then, of course, we had the um, very early snow. And as I understand it from the meeting, that this is a rescue vehicle. Had we had this during the Irene floods, I think it would have been a uh, benefit to those in Brattleboro and other places in Lower Vermont who were suffering through um, unbelievable um, problems with water that they never expected to see. So in that, looking at it that way, 
I think to protect our citizens, um, it is a good choice. Thank you, Councillor. Any other councillors? Councillor Jones. Thank you, Your Honor. I mean, I agree with everything Councillor Clark says, but this this money is already allocated, mm -hmm. and I think we, being the people of Keene, if we don't take it, this gift is going to go somewhere else. And if we can bring this in, and hopefully never use this, I would be grateful. <laughs> uh, but God forbid we have to, it just may save a life someday, somewhere in Keene. So I think we should accept this with thanks. Thank you very much. Any other counselor that wishes to speak? Uh, counselor Dunn? Uh, Legislator um, Lindsay, I will not abide by this again on the interruption. I have spoken. I have said that this was discussed at a public meeting last week. I do not take input from the public. And that is final. Uh, Councilor Dunn? Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, when I came in tonight, uh, my intent was to vote against this. Uh, but a couple of comments that have been made it makes me change my appreciation of this vehicle. I looked. I look at the picture, and it definitely looks like a tactical vehicle. Um, however, its design is perhaps other than strictly tactical. Um, and if it does save lives, and if it's employed properly, it will save lives. I am therefore going to vote for it. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. I appreciate those words. Councillor Slack. Thank you, Mayor. Um, well, first of all, I would like to thank whoever the grant writer is at the police department for obtaining the vehicle in the first place. I think everyone knows that there are very few things that this side of the state, the western part of the state, is able to obtain. And because we do have such grant, great grant writers at the in our city departments, we have been able to obtain many, many grants the past few years. So for, I, I feel that we need to commend the Keene Police Department. I'm all in favor of this public safety vehicle. It can, it, they have mentioned in the report that it can be used for a variety of reasons. There's nothing like this available within an hour to an hour and a half in the city of Keene. I think that this is something that we need. Hopefully it's something that we won't have to use often. Thank you, Councilor. Any other discussion? The motion is on the floor. All those in favor? Two, three, four, five. Any opposed? One opposed. Councilor Clark is opposed. So one passes recusal. 13 to 1. One recusal. Uh, it says 12 to 1, one recusal. Thank you very much. We now move to 3A15. Finance